Aortic stenosis is a um, blockage of the aortic valve. The aortic valve is, is the one-way valve that leads from the heart to the aorta, which is the main blood vessel that goes to the rest of the body. It usually is what's called a tri-leaflet valve, meaning that it has three parts. And uh, what happens uh, frequently with time is that that becomes narrowed, and as it becomes narrowed, it also becomes calcified and very thickened. Um, once it gets to the point where the, where the opening from the uh, heart into the aorta becomes extremely narrowed, um, it actually puts a lot of strain on the heart and causes heart failure. The patients that we actually see most often uh, for surgery have severe aortic valve stenosis, and uh, most of them have a very limited life expectancy. Um, some of the studies have shown that in one year, somewhere between 45 and 50 percent of the patients uh, die in that time period. Aortic stenosis has uh, traditionally been treated for quite a long time um, with surgical replacement of the aortic valve. And uh, the main difficulty with that in the past was is that some patients weren't good candidates to have that kind of uh, um, open heart surgery. Currently, there's uh, additional treatment with uh, being able to be treated with transcatheter valves, which allows uh, many patients who are very poor candidates for open heart surgery to actually have the procedure at a very reasonable risk. Doing the procedure actually involves um, accessing uh, the artery and vein on both sides of the groin areas. The, the valve when it goes in is actually crimped into a catheter so that it's a very small size, you know, in the neighborhood of four to five millimeters. And then that valve follows a wire that has previously been placed into the heart and uh, is actually expanded into the patient's native aortic valve. There's two types of valves. One type of valve self-expands and the other type of valve is uh, balloon expandable. When the valve is positioned, the heart is actually uh, sped up with the pacemaker so that it has very limited output, which allows you to very accurately place these valves. And uh, when the valve expands, it works actually almost immediately. It's a functional valve that the patient relies on. Because of that, you don't actually have to be on any kind of support. Um, in an ordinary case, uh, the patient's own blood pressure and is uh, maintained, except for just the very short period of time when the valve is uh, deployed. It's actually quite uh, remarkable how well the patients do following the procedure. So usually within an hour to an hour and a half, patients are awake and talking. And uh, that same day, they're almost always uh, out of bed and, and even walking about the floor of, of the unit where they are. Nowadays, um, a lot of our patients go home even one or two days following surgery and most of them have almost no complaints. They have a couple of little poke holes in the groin where the catheters went in and uh, otherwise they feel better, they're breathing better and, and they don't really have any uh, substantial pain or, or problems. So one, one of the things uh, when this program was developed and, and uh, that we found here is that we actually got the expertise of many disciplines. So we have uh, we actually have a team of heart surgeons, um, interventional cardiologists, as well as uh, radiologists and uh, echocardiographers, which are uh, um, both the technicians and the uh, cardiologists who read those tests. By the time the patient is evaluated for one of these valves and about to undergo the procedure, they've had an extensive evaluation by multiple experts, and as well as uh, um, PAs and nursing staff and and people who, who have all seen the patient and we have a discussion and try to figure out the best treatment for them. I think that the patients uh, feel that uh, they've been um, fully evaluated and actually uh, most of them are pretty relieved that um, we're able to offer uh, a treatment that is short of open heart surgery so that they're able to uh, get excellent recovery from the symptoms of the disease without having to recover from the procedure most of the time.